Hey everybody, how are you doing? So, because you're my dear friend and because I want to help share with you some health advice to have more energy and joy and a higher vibration in life, I'm going to share with you now what I'm going to eat for breakfast. I've already had around two cups of herbal tea that I made from my own wild pickings from ginger, ginger root and licorice root, which are both brilliant for your adrenal glands. Highly recommend licorice root and, and ginger into your herbal teas, eat daily even. But the one thing with licorice is you shouldn't be having licorice if you have high blood pressure because it has a tendency sometimes to higher your blood pressure just a little bit. So here's my, my plan for my breakfast. If you've seen my previous video I just made, it's about rose hips and I'm using the drink of the rose hips with bananas. So I'm going to have a cool banana smoothie with rose and it's going to turn out a lovely colour and very high energy basically a mono meal or you could say a duo meal rose hips and bananas this is the way your banana should be idealistically I guess lovely and sugary and sweet and perfectly easy to digest this morning I've also had a, lot of, a fair bit of water and I've had green powder See, I have some powders up there, you see? Chlorophyll, and I was given a present of this. This is my, my licorice. This is my stuff for my adrenal glands and endocrine gland system tincture. I bought that. So, uh, yeah, that's, what, that's, 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 that's the high powered meal, and it's really, really, really. It's just good to get a lot of greens into you and also simple sh fruit meals, so. If anyone is thinking about detoxing, this is detoxing food. Like just if you're used to an ordinary diet or having cooked foods at all, bananas are detoxing. If you're strictly on a raw food diet, bananas aren't really detoxing, they're just neutral. But compared to eating cooked food in your diet, they are detoxing. They they, they free up the energy for your body to naturally detox. Um high energy food, you'll feel the difference in your mood and your energy with raw foods high water content raw foods if anybody wants to have more energy in life and practice a bit of raw food eating I highly recommend if you're going to eat a lot of raw foods you have to make bananas and dates the staples of your of your diet really it's like the potatoes and the rice the pasta the high carbohydrate rich food of your raw food diet if you don't have enough bananas and dates in my opinion unless you're eating loads of other sweet juicy fruits like mangoes etc that you can buy that are ripe you're going to be finding yourself a lack of energy and you have other cooked carbohydrate cravings so so uh, that's it I'll, uh, I'll show you another picture in a second of the result okay so here is my meal it's a it's a four cupful it's a kind of like more like pinky orange <laughs> instead of red and it's a very high performance meal and it gives you a lot of energy typically unless you're already underslept or you're really dehydrated then it'll probably make you feel tired any food will probably make you feel tired if you're very underslept or underhydrated but if you're on par generally and you're, not, and you're not really sick or even if you are well if you're not really sick this will give you a lot of energy but if you are sick it'll help you to get better I'm having this because I want high performance um, it will give you high performance physically, for sure, if you're racing or an athlete, very high performance. All the other high fruit, raw food eaters, vegan raw, fe raw food eaters, etc. They're, they're, they're thrashing their records, they're having the best performance of their life. But for me, I want best mood performance, like more spiritual ability performance. Um, I want a better mood and more energy and ability to allow me to help people in my Facebook, replying to people sending me messages and asking me questions or looking for help. And also in the coaching that I do uh, on Skype or in person with people, I want to have top performance as best as I can. So, just do my best. So, cheers to you, uh, blessings, many blessings to you, and good luck on your journey. And never be too hard on yourself re regarding your eating habits. If you have any compulsive or feeling like seemingly out of control habits, over the top eating habits ask for healing and pray every day and maybe go to a healer um, an angel healer or psychic healer or a reiki healer just pray and maybe you could do the healing codes 
which I'll leave a link below, okay, for you. I'll also leave a link below to a girl called Zora, who's an angel healer, who I really recommend. She works with her and your own spirit guides and the angels for healing. So she helped me a bit, um, with some of my eating habits. So, so take care and lots of love to you. Blessings again. Bye. And enjoy nature now. Have a nice day and I hope you do the same, okay? See ya. There's an apple tree. <laughs> cool. Yum. Extremely tasty. <laughs> yes.